We could uh, be. There he is. Hey there, pal. What's up? You look out of sorts. Wait, you didn't go and do something that's going to hurt Mr. Edward's case again. What do you mean, again? <laughs> Whatever, have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything, besides money that is. <laughs> How is the investigation proceeding? It's not really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edward's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Edward's father died in the DL6 incident. And the guy who got the lone suspect to credit innocent was the victim in this case. Robert Hammond. They're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. And Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag that out and hit him with it in court tomorrow, too. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. Gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. <laughs> Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? <laughs> The monster down in Gord Lake? Not personally, no. <laughs> We're not on uh, speaking terms. Well, we're looking for it. Huh? Are you out of your minds? <laughs> you got time to go wild monster hunting. I'm not doing a little questioning for me then. Oh. Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick. I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lotta. Nick, try telling him sooner next time. Uh, sorry. <laughs> hmm. I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your search for Gordy. Huh? I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Really? You can take whichever one you like. Secret weapons? Okay, give us the goods. Hold on now, everything in good due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret weapon number one, Missile! Missile? It's a K-9 police dog, still in training. Missile! Missile! Here, boy! <laughs> Here he is. Hey, he's cute! Look, Nick, cute dog! A cute dog? And this will help us. How? Next, secret number two. Fishing pole. Here is my own personal poem. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Yeah. How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know to you try, pal. Hmm. Okay, this next one is the last one. No, please, I'm already overwhelmed by our choices. Secret number three. A metal detector. Here. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for something alive. Right. How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, never know. It might have been eating soda cans. Well, which will it be? Um... I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. I can't make up my mind either for the totally opposite reason. Oh well, I suppose it can't hurt to borrow one of them. Oh, the metal detector. Can we borrow that metal detector? Sure thing, pal. I'm not sure what we're going to find with this. Remember, you're hunting for a monster. Anything's possible. Anything. Hey. Metal detector borrowed from Detective Gumshoe. Makes a noise when metallic objects are near. A useful detection device. Go to Gourd Lake. Oh.
show him a metal detector. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> Fine. Do you have anything here to say? No. I need to explain about these things. The trash can is empty. At least the place is well maintained. It's changing. I can't get over the samurai dogs. The original samurai dogs, no less. Hey man, whoever calls their product the original first wins. Well, why don't you add world famous to the sign? Hey, good idea! What have I done? <laughs> Nick! It's beeping! The metal detectors found something! Sure is loud enough about it. Whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. Why do I have to check it out? Hmm. Nick? Look! Huh? An air tank? Huh. The valve looks broken. Where was Gordy? Maya, first of all. Why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Oh. Huh? There's something wrapped around this air tank. It looks like a string of flags. Well, we might as well take it with us now that we found it. Heavy. Hey, air tank. An empty air tank. The valve is open and a banner of flags is wrapped around it. Tank of dubious value. Let's see what uh, the fellow that it clearly belongs to says about it. What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. Is it yours? Say... Why would everything like that? Look, see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? It's just like the string of flags around your steel samurai there. Hmm? Must be a coincidence. There's strings of flags everywhere these days. We're like elementary schools. A and used car dealerships. But look, why would I need a tank anyway? To inflate something? You used this to inflate that, didn't you? Uh, inflate what? What else? That big puffy steel samurai. Hmm? Hmm. Now, why would you go asking me a question like that? Looks like I hit the nail on the head. <clears throat> right, right. Actually, um... See, the compressor I always used was on the fritz. So I tried using the tank to inflate it, just once. And uh, it didn't go so well. As I suspected. Ask more. It didn't go so well. Yeah. Do you think you could be a little more specific? C come on. Look, it's embarrassing, so I really don't want to talk about it. Tell us. Tell us. Mm. Fine. Whatever. It's like what, it's what I said. The compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the samurai with that. With that. And then... Blam. Valve busted open and made this incredible noise. And that, that, that tank there took off like a rocket. It took my poor deflated seal samurai with it. What? Off into Gord Lake? It sure scared me out of my cord, that's for sure. Uh huh. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to click that. Okay. The flying air tank. Um. Is it the tank and the steel samurai you were trying to fill up flew away? What happened next? Well, all that happened on all that happened on twentieth or so. The twentieth a week ago. Now, as far as I could see, the tank went flying out of the lake. So I went out every night in the boat looking for it. 
I mean, Kian said gave me that steel samurai after all. When did you find it? Just the night before last. It flew way out there. It took me four whole days to find it. The night before last was the night of the murder. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. But you see, I went home before midnight. You didn't know about what happened? No. That's too bad. It's not all bad. We've solved one mystery at least. Mystery? Maybe we should go tell her. Yes. Wood Lake Woods. Where Lotta is. Hello, Lotta. Where, well, Mr. Lawyer? I got the info y'all need. Y'all got scoop on Gordy for me yet? Gordy doesn't exist. Lotta. There is no such thing as Gordy. What? How can y'all be so sure? Really, Nick? Y'all got some proof Gordy didn't exist? The proof that Gordy doesn't exist is here. Of course I have proof. No lawyer worth his badge would make a claim without the proof to back it up. Here is the proof that Gordy doesn't exist. Take that! Larry's air tank? What are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. Um, excuse me? What exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here at the hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot who happens to be a friend of mine tried to fill it. <laughs> he used this air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. Bang? The tank, along with the still deflated samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time... A couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. Wait. So, you're saying that Gordy... is really the Steel Samurai? Hmm... Hmm... Well, that's a fine way to ruin a gal's dreams. I'm sorry, Lotta. No, it's okay, you win. I'll give you info like I promised. Poor Lotta. So, tell us this information you have. <sighs> promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard the cops around here say something about the witness tomorrow. They said he's the caretaker of the boat rental place up the path here. Boat rental? Someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Just an old guy living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks, Lotta. We will. Let's get cracking, Nick. Hold on. Something else? Yeah, night of the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know. Hmm. Wait, so you have another photo? Well... Yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. Just the lake. I figured it wouldn't be much use as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but... Here, take it. Second lake photo added to the court record. Huh. Okay. Shows an empty lake. Taken automatically on 1224 at 11.50pm. Bye now, y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. Hmm. Poor Lotta. 
It's all Larry's fault. The legend still lives on, I guess. The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry. Familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Hmm. Someone should whip their butts into shape. <laughs> All right. Nothing new from you. Okay. Boat rental shop. December 26. Boat rental shop. Hey, Nick. This is the boat shop that Lotto was talking about. You're right. There doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. Well, let's go check it out anyway. Caretaker's Shack. December 26, Caretaker's Shack. Meg, that you? <laughs> hey, is that Keith with you? Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. <sighs> Nick, you handle this. Ah, uh, I think I'll leave this one up to you, Maya. Meg! Yes? You finally made up your mind, have you? My, my mind? You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone. Pasta? Glad to hear it, glad to hear it. You make your old man proud. When you kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place running, an old man like me? Ollie, the kids are home. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what was that? A parrot. The one on that perch. Keith! <laughs> yes? I'll leave the wet noodle in your capable hands, Sonny. Nick? What's the wet noodle? Um, based on the available evidence, I'd say it's the name of his pasta shop. That's relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello, hello. Ah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Fell asleep. I guess he's relieved. No oh, talking Zem in this place. Oh, no. Zem. Wow. What an amazing parrot that is. Good morning. Uh, hello. Uh, he ignored me. Alright, you forgot, Meg. You gotta call her name first. Name? Ollie, how you been? Hello, hello, right? <laughs> See? Meg, mm, so the parrot's name is Polly. Parrot added to the court record. The erstwhile companion of the boat shop caretaker. That's just the name, Polly. Too bad all she can say is hello. Ha ha ha! Oh, Polly can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. The secret words? Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly! Quack! <laughs> that was... <laughs> Cute! Maya's found a new friend. It looks like a kitchen unit. It's pretty clean. Funny, it doesn't look like the type would keep things tidy like that. You're forgetting, Nick. He's running a pasta shop here. <laughs> but he isn't. Look, Nick, he has an electric blanket on his table. Looks warm. That's a great idea. We should do that at the office. We can sit down with our clients, snug and warm, and drink hot cocoa. And what? Talk about murders? Oh, you're a party pooper, Nick. Hmm. 
Wow, we have the television in here too. Look, a little safe. Hmm. Hmm. It's locked. Fish picks. Wow, there's lots of various fish in Gord Lake, aren't there? Hmm? Something's funny, Nick. All these fish are saltwater fish. And this fishing pole looks expensive. Okay. Let's talk to the fella. Hmm. Um, a uh, pasta shop? Yep. To think the wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. My father started it, you know, so that makes you two the third generation. Meg. Yes? Tomorrow we'll start with the secret to dough tossing. Dough tossing? You too, Keith. Yes. You'll be the best pasta wrangler the West has ever seen. Pasta wrangler? The West? Isn't pasta from Italy? Egg. Yes. You know the best pasta's always been made west of the Rockies, don't you? Right, of course. Everybody knows that. Nick. Uh-huh. How long do we have to keep up this all in the family charade? <laughs> this old man must know something about the murder. We're not leaving until we find out what that is. Hmm. Um, this is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This here's the Palace of Pasta, the wet noodle. Oh, now that you mention it, we haven't got many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come up and say, Yo, dude, we want to ride one of your boats. That's why I keep them boats out there. Youngsters these days, darned if I understand them. I'm pretty confused myself. <laughs> Nick, this isn't going anywhere. But this old man is the witness tomorrow, right? We've got to find some way of getting information out of him. <sighs> ah, my memory's gotten worse of late. That's why I just tell everything important to all Polly here. Everything important? Hmm, I wonder. Polly, what's the number of the safe? Enter two eight. Huh? All right. Uh, hey, Polly, watch it, will you? <laughs> See, Nick, all it takes is a little clever thinking and a criminal mind. Quick, Nick, write that number down. Hey, hey, don't get me involved in your little heist schemes. And write the number down anyway. <laughs> No more to add that. Can I show him a thing? Can I ask him about... Two shots just like gunshot? Oh. Now listen here, Keith. Remember that tricolor poster we were talking about? Our rainbow Leoli? I figured we sh I figured out the last color we should use. Indigo blue. Indigo blue? And that didn't seem to work the way I thought it might. Hmm. Gonna ask him about Gordy, but we already know about Gordy. I was near Keith. Alright, okay. What do you know about, uh, 
Autopsy report. There it is. Okay. So much for brain polioli. Okay, if we can do anything else, I don't know. Unless we want to get in safe. Which I guess we can't. Okay. New from you, no. Hold on. But now we can talk to Edgeworth. Theoretically, because we know who it is and he wasn't able to tell us before. December 26, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. Hmm, Detective Gumshoe isn't here. Now that you mention it, didn't you see he had a meeting to go to? Ah, uh, that's right. Let's come back later. Okay, fine.